everything old is new again from fashion to music to motorcycles retro is the new cool and it's not just one player everyone from ducati to yamaha to kawasaki and bmw have launched their vintage cool motorcycles in the last few years hell even java has come back from the grave uh, even a lesser known brand like fb mondial has already launched their retro inspired bike in india and i hear benelli is also bringing in something which rivals um, all of these but it's not just motorcycles the accessories the gear are a part of the retro cool lifestyle but you know who has been manufacturing retro since before it was cool yes our very own royal enfield and royal enfield is doing lifestyle correct it's not just into one segment it's not just into the retro segment it also has a whole adventure tour uh, touring lifestyle that it is promoting via not just its product which is the himalayan but also the accessories the rides it's organizing and i don't see anyone else doing uh, all the aspects of the lifestyle as well as enfield is um but we'll talk about all of that later i'm really excited to talk more about what i'm riding today it's the interceptor 650 it's basically the pinnacle of all classic motorcycles ever built by royal enfield is it the fastest 650 no is it the most agile no it's not does it have the latest electronics package no why do you need that is the power to weight ratio the best in class definitely not but what does it do right it makes you turn around and look every time you walk away after parking the bike it adds joy in the most mundane visit to the grocery store it makes even the ducati rider next to you at the signal wish he had one it makes you grin silly every time you overtake a truck on the highway hell it even makes every photograph look better it's uh, totally a thing of joy what motorcycles were originally meant to do for the first time i guess a brand is uh, has constructed the hashtag correctly because uh, pure motorcycle motorcycling is definitely what defines the interceptor and even the gt a uh, spec sheet uh, won't tell you all of this a uh, spec sheet has numbers that appeal you know to the logical part of your mind but this bike appeals to the heart um which is why no review can tell you if this is the bike for you i mean no review can compare it with the rival because uh, there are none uh triumph street you can say comes closest in terms of appeal but it's priced way higher and uh duke 390 i know it's a stupid comparison but it comes closest in terms of price but definitely does not have the swag or the character of the interceptor now all of this does not come at a compromise uh, the handling is quite fun especially in the city i have been riding it in traffic and it has not let me complain the acceleration is way more than enough for the indian roads i mean i had to look down to realize i was on 80 in the city when i should not be doing those speeds the ergonomics are near perfect i mean uh, i wish the foot pegs were positioned a little differently um the foot pegs hit your leg every time you're trying to wade through traffic um and the exhaust note even with the stock silencers put a smile on your face now this is not really a review this is merely me putting words to the inexplicable grin inside my helmet right now